Greetings everybody, Buzz Miller, Wannabe Studios. Today, let's talk picks. So often ignored, so important for our sound. What do we do when we start playing guitar? Well, we bought a guitar and the owner of the music store went like this and handed us about five really crappy, plastic, thin junk. And we played with them for years. Why? I have no idea. Because they were free. And they said, you should buy picks and you should get this brand. You're going, wait, why would I buy something that I can get for free? Unfortunately in life, sometimes quality costs money. We've learned that in guitars. We've learned that in cars. We've certainly learned that in car parts. Sometimes quality costs money. I actually went out and bought my first pick. Went out and bought this. Jim Dunlop. Got a little turtle on it. Why did I get this one? Because I live in Phoenix. I sweat all the time. In fact, I just got off my bike. I did a 16-mile bike ride tonight. And I am still sweating like crazy. These have a nice texture on them that is supposed to not slip and not fall from your hand when you're sweating. That's why I got this. This became my pick. The problem with these is when I'm playing live, I like play really hard and the tip goes to nothing. And so I got to throw them out into the audience and nobody cares about me. So they don't want my pick so they just let it drop on the floor and then the bar owner's like, you keep littering my place with picks. Nobody wants them, quit throwing them. But it's stupid to sit there and throw them to your side. Jim Dunlop improved. They came out with the Ultec stuff. This does not go round quite as fast. They came out with the Ultex Sharps, and that changed my world. I went from picking and doing my alternate pick stuff to realizing when I have a sharp point, I can actually move not very far and make that note ring just the way I want it. I can also do little articulate things, and you can hear the difference when you have a sharp pick. That changed my life. That changed my guitar playing. That changed my everything. I try to go back to those old Jim Dunlops. No way. Cannot do it. These don't go around quite as fast, but they still go around. And when I'm playing live, I get through a song, and the sharp point isn't quite as sharp. They made these. Oh, woo, woo. It's the same thing with a Metallica logo in black. Um, I went and bought a pedal, and the pedal came with this lovely pick. And although it was way too wide and it didn't really work for me shape-wise, I like the feel of it and something about the material just doesn't want to leave your hand. It doesn't matter if you're sweaty or dry. Um, I bought a bunch of these. They came in the Tusk Picks from Graftech. I like Graftech stuff and I tried to uh, grab a couple of their picks. I grabbed, the, they've got the white, the brown, and the tan and it's deep and dark and mysterious or whatever. With my sound, with as much distortion and gain as I have on my sounds, I don't really hear the difference between the different colors. Again, get it, have to shape it, have to round the edges just right, and then get my point just right. But, I play on these, they've got some nice real raised edges, they don't shift in my hand, I can play on them pretty hard, pretty long, and I don't lose my tip. I learned about chicken picks. Chicken picks are pretty much the same thing as Graph Tech, but a little bit better. Maybe not better. A little bit stronger. When you put an edge on them, they're going to stay longer. Now, these things like to be super thick. This is where I started to realize, hey, a super thick pick's not a bad thing. Um, with these because for some reason they just didn't have thin picks. They just have huge thick meaty things. And I thought it was going to be a problem and now I'm learning that I like thicker picks to thinner picks. Before I went with the chicken picks I bought blue chip. Blue chips came the wrong size and I'm out there grinding on them and realizing this material is really hard. This doesn't grind like normal plastic. This is actually a really cool material. When you get the shape of this right, it stays for a long time. And I mean a long time. 
The only difference between these two is I left this one factory. I took and gouged this one. So it's got a lot more traction. So when I'm sweating and being crazy, this one sticks a lot better. Um, but because they're $35 a piece, and if you get the thicker ones, they're $75 a piece, whoo, you whoo, put them in a case, lock them up, and you know, forget the guitars. I gotta lock up my picks. Um, one thing I noticed, well, before I get to that, um, the chicken picks, they don't have a lot of raised edges, so they were rolling in my hand. And so I went, I'm gonna drill a hole right there. It's going to do two things, tell me that I have it the right way, and it's going to keep it from rolling out. That really helped. That really helped the chicken picks because they just don't have a lot of raised edge, and they don't have the material that really sticks to your fingers. But while I'm playing with my uh, blue chip, I'm tapping it against the high E, realizing this is brittle, strong plastic. This is actually a NASA deal. Um, it's a self-lubricating plastic. You can actually feel that when you're coming off of the strings. It comes off super fast, super easy, and not a lot of grab. It just it flies off the strings, especially if you have a nice polish to it. But as I'm tapping the high E, it's, it's almost like metal on my string. And I thought, I had a metal pick once. Uh, Dava? Deva, Dava, I don't know. It's plastic up top and metal at the bottom. It's designed so it flexes in the middle, which I really hate. I'm kind of of the uh, Guthrie Govan concept. Guthrie says if you have a pencil and you want perfect command of the tip of the pencil, first of all, you don't hold it at the very back, and second of all, you don't want a rubber pencil. You want something real stiff. So choke up on that pencil and get something nice and stiff because when you do itty bitty articulate movements with your hand, you want the tip of that pick to follow your articulate movements, not be flexing all over the place and it, you know, dependent on if you're pulling or pushing on where the tip of that pick's going to be. Um, if you like real flexible picks, that's cool. You don't have to change for anybody, for Guthrie or myself or anybody. Play what you like, play what um, works for you, but play with picks. Try a bunch of different things. You may do this, and you may go from round to sharp and change the whole way you look at the guitar, because that changed for me. Well, as I'm sitting there going beep, 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 I'm thinking, a metal pick. I ought to make some stainless steel picks. I ought to get the right grade of stainless, the right thickness of stainless, and get a perfect stainless steel pick and see if it works. And I thought, Buzz, you're a race car guy. You got lots of cool material out there. What about a titanium guitar pick? So I took two sheets of aircraft certified titanium, 6AL4V, a thin and a thick, and I made my little one hole that I put in my chicken pick, and then I made a second hole, and I went, huh, that kind of looks like a face. So I put kind of a quirky, crooked, smiley face, and my new titanium guitar picks have a little smiley face in them. And now my Takamini has holes in it. Um, the thick picks, way better. If you're not a thick pick player, you're probably going to like these a lot more than those, even though you're not a thick pick player. Um, so let's take a look at my picks. I've got the thin. The thin is really weird. Well, first of all, i got to round the edges just right, get it to the tip just right, round around the eyes just right so it feels good in your hand. Um, the, the smiley face, although it is very subtle, you realize this pick is not moving around in my fingers like I'm used to. This is light. You can't tell it's in your hand. This is probably lighter than the stupid little plastic picks that you got free when you bought your first guitar. This thing is really light. Um, I've learned that I'm not a thin pick guy, but there, boink boink, is my thin pick. My thick pick, there's a lot more to the contour of the side. I've got eight different 
um, two that I haven't touched yet, but eight different um, test picks. Some of them go a little more sharp, some of them go a little more rounded, some are very rounded. They all come to a similar point um, when I start rounding up here. Some people like to take the corner of the pick when they're strumming. If you like to do that, um, got a side edge for that. I really don't. I If I'm not playing on the on the point, I'm not playing. Um, so why am I telling you about these picks? Uh, first of all, let me just say that I thought that we were going to get a little bit of wear on them. These don't wear at all. So the question, why am I telling you this? Here's why. I want to give five or ten of my subscribers a free titanium guitar pick. What I need is an email from you telling me a couple of things. If you like the smaller Jazz 3 kind of a style, I'll cut the sides out of it and make it a little bit more for your liking. Um, tips, we're going to go with three sizes. We're going to go with size 1, which is not much of a tip at all. Size 2, which is going to be like the Ultex Sharps. And size 3, which is so sharp that you can actually poke somebody in the temple and hurt them with it. Um, let me know if you ever strum on the sides and I'll make sure that these are sanded perfect. But I'm going to give you a free guitar pick, put it in the mail and send it to you if you promise to give me a, a review back and tell me what you do like about it or don't like about it. I'm kind of in the R&D phase of this and uh, some reviews and some ideas other than mine because I know what I like. I've got that one out there exactly like I like it. Um, but I don't know what other people like. So maybe this could be really cool. These, when you get on them on the sides, where you normally wear these picks out, A, these don't wear, but B, these give you a nice, real attack, Megadeth kind of a sound. Um, so if you're looking for just a different tone on that one song that you're going to record, this may be the tone you're looking for. Also, if you go to do a pick slide, and you throw these picks out because you pick slide and now there's jagged edges. Uh-uh, not on this. You can... <laughs> You'll never know on that pick because it just isn't going to hurt it. So, um, send me an email. Let me know. One, two, or three. Full width or more jazz three. If you ever strum on the sides. And if you want thick or thin. If you're not sure if you want thick or thin, Try thick. You're going to like them better. I do have the thins. They're cool. They're just not doing what I want. So send me those three things to my email that's uh, attached to this uh, channel. And uh, I'll get them out to you in the next week or so. Hey, let's try different things. Let's try different sounds. Let's try to find that next thing that's going to change the world of guitar for us. And take us to that next level. And it might be a titanium guitar pick. You never know. But this is Buzz Miller saying... Keep on rocking, baby.